Today we're going to talk about how I make money doing collaborations with the help of DistroKid. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. Okay, I'm here at the track. Um, about to do my three miles. Three miles for Breonna Taylor. Let's go, let's do it. No excuses. It's a little cold outside today. It's cold outside every day. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm in Grand Hall Day. Okay, camper, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties, cause it's cold out there. Today. It's cold out there every day. Y'all remember that movie? Quarantine life. <sighs> Back at the house, I got my run in. Now I'm about to talk to you guys a little bit about DistroKid Teams, um, which is a function of DistroKid that when you collaborate with other artists, it helps you pay everybody. As an independent artist, you basically have to be your own record label. And for me, I've always wanted to make sure that if my music and my performance was at a high level. I wanted my music business to be at a high level too. I wanted them to be equal. One of the big parts of being in the music industry is collaboration. And it's a really good way to expose yourself to other fan bases, other people that may never have heard of you or don't really listen to your particular genre of music. But one of the big parts of doing a collaboration is paying everybody what they're supposed to get paid. I don't have a record label to do that for me, so I had to find a company that could help me do a lot of the things that a record label would do. And DistroKid has been that company for me. I'm, I'm totally biased. I think they're the best company out there to work with as an independent artist. I say it freely and all the time to anybody. With DistroKid, you can add unlimited collaborators to each track. You don't have to worry about, oh man, I forgot to pay the producer for this or they didn't get their royalties. You put their names in, you put their emails in, that's it, DistroKid does the rest, they pay everybody. That takes a whole job out of my hands that I don't have to worry about. And also what's great about it is, is you can change the splits at any time. So if for whatever reason, maybe you put it in there, you know, that you guys would, you, this person, the producer would get 50% and you would get 50%. And then maybe, you know, you guys negotiate some other deal where the producer's just gonna get 25% and you get 75, you can go right into DistroKid and change it. And you can add or subtract any collaborators at any time. So if, if let's just say, and this doesn't really happen often, but let's just say somebody um, helped you write the hook of the song or whatever, and they were getting a percentage of that song through the royalties, right? And then they came to you and said, you know what? take the royalties, I don't need to get paid from this song anymore. You can take their name off. And it keeps your history in check, so you can go back in time and look at previous splits. If you're working with a bunch of new people, you can go back and look at previous splits that you've had and just work off of that and say, this is how I did this deal, so I'm gonna do this next song this way. So I'm really glad that, that Digital Kid kinda has thought of everything so that you can just really just upload your song and they'll take care of the rest. And you can watch them take care of the rest. Like you can see for yourself, they're paying everybody the right way. Another thing I hear people say is that if you use the, the DistroKid teams, every writer 
that's involved in the song has to have a DistroKid account. And yes, that's true, but the DistroKid account is only $10. So it's, I mean, you're gonna make your money back. The release of the song won't be delayed if somebody hasn't signed up yet. And that's, that's really great. Cause sometimes, you know, working with other artists and musicians, you know, people just, it takes a minute to get everybody on the same page. But if you have a specific release date and you wanna stick to it, you can and you don't have to worry about adding their name later. If one of the collaborators just decide not to join DistroKid and you, and you put their name down as somebody that helped to write it, DistroKid will just reallocate the funds to whoever else is on the song. But I've never had that issue. I've always been able to just get everybody to sign up and, and do it so that they can get paid. Most people, you know, like getting paid, so that's really not not gonna come up. And as always, Digital Kid never takes a cut. You get a hundred percent of your profits. That's that's awesome. If you're out here, you're an independent artist, you're running your own record label, look into Distro Kid. As I said, completely biased. I love them. They help me out a lot. If you have any questions about this show, kid, just write them in the comments below. I also have a 7% off link that should be on the screen right now if you want to use that to sign up. Um, and yeah, that's it, y'all. So right now I got this Zoom call I got to do, which I really hope goes well because I'm really trying to get... Uh, well, the, the Zoom call is with some bookers that are going to have some outdoor events this summer going on, and I'm trying to get in on them. So wish me luck. All right. Just getting ready for this. Zoom call. I live on Zoom now. Don't know if you know. I do at least one to three Zoom calls every day or every other day. Like everything is on Zoom. girl just booked some gigs for the summertime i'll tell you about them when we get closer to them just in case they get canceled because uh you know everything is kind of tentative still even when you book a gig it's just kind of like yeah it may happen it may not happen you know we don't know. I'm going to text my bandmates and just to make sure that they're all uh, available for the gig and for the dates and then just move on from there. So yeah, so far so good y'all. I'm making moves.